Hello, friends. Welcome back to this series of interviews that we are doing with toppers of FET 2022. Today, we have got with us the very talented Dr. Nisha Yadav, who has secured a fabulous, fabulous rank seven in FET 2022. So, uh, welcome, Dr. Nisha. Welcome to this series of interviews. Uh, let's you. discuss with you uh, your background and your strategy, how you prepared for this exam to secure such a good rank. So over to you, uh, Nisha, the stage is on yours. Tell me about yourself first. Thank you so much, ma'am. First of all, I want to thank you for this Repronit learning because without this, I will not be able to do this. And now I am Dr. Nisha Yadav. I have done my UG from PGIMS Rotak Haryana. Okay. And also from PGIMS Rota Haryana. My batch, I passed out in 2020. 2020. Yes, uh, ma'am. Okay. So how was the uh, studying like during your PG times? Did you read books <laughs> or, or was there no time? Ma'am, there was in first year and second year, we have actually no time for study. So just like other colleges, you had yeah. no time. And in third year, we, we actually start studying and uh, it's all usual. Third and so uh, let's discuss that after 2020, ke baad, when did you decide that you have to study for FET or you need to study for Ma'am, for FET, I have given this first time only. Oh, and first time. I to know about FET only this time only after my one of my friend PG friend uh, is doing Sandhya is doing uh, FET after, I, uh, after which I came to know about FET and I uh, thought of FET Early, prior to this I never thought of giving FET or I have no idea actually I have no idea about FET I have given a uh, neat SS prior to this, but I have no, without preparation, actually. Uh, first time I, I have prepared for this, uh, and I have also given neat SS this time, and uh, also given INISS and FET, all three exam I have given this time. So when did you start preparing for the exam? Ma'am, for uh, NEET SS was on 1st September, actually. So I have started around 25 days before exam, actually. 20 to 20. 2020, when you had your final exam, how was it after that? It was there in your mind that you had to do something? Yes. Achha, that time you had it in your mind. Ma'am, uh, actually I always thought of some doing something, but I was not clear about this. Yeah. I was always how to do what to do. I, um, I have no idea how to do uh, which one book to read actually. Then mm -hmm. uh, I have given neat SS prior also, but mm -hmm. as usual, I have not okay. prepared for that. Okay. But uh, after uh, my friend Sandhya has given this yes, FT. So uh, I have asked her and also one more uh, friend of me. So they told me about your app, Repronit app. So I joined your app around uh, in uh, June last or maybe July starting. June, July. So six months uh, I ago have taken, you had started. Yes, ma'am. I have taken most probably four month course I have taken. Okay. Then I have study for 25 days around and I like the material of yours and your notes very much so i secured 42 rank in 25 days so in yes. 25 days of preparation you secured 42nd rank at which yes, you could have got a good seat now I have, uh, also i can understand that before that you were not very serious with your preparation and even in your pg times you were very busy with your work so, yes ma'am i have prepared for any super specialty prior i have just given exam of only neat ss but without any preparation but still it's not by luck that you are getting rank 42 in one exam and rank 7 in the other exam so of course you have done you know you are so talented so intelligent that you get the material you read for 25 days and you get rank 42 so uh, yes. you know i'm very proud of you and many congratulations for that success thank you so much ma'am yes so tell me after that, after NEET SS, how was the preparation? Ma'am, then 
I think I I should do this and I should prepare seriously or or for longer time actually. Mm. So I then, ma'am, uh, in one of your video, you told to give I N I S S also. Mm. Uh, then I study. Then I left study for uh, after I N I S S. Then I went for I N I S S after preparing around twenty five days, around approx twenty five so days. You were a twenty five days specialist. You only prepare for twenty five days before the exam, and then you get oh, admitted. So how was the result I in I N I S S? Only, ma'am, I qualified the okay. exam. Twenty five uh, no. days and you qualified. Wonderful. Yes, ma'am. But ma'am, uh, after these two exam, I think that I have I have studied for less time, so yes. I have no. You need to yes. increase the twenty five days yes. limit that you were giving to yourself. And yes, ma'am. How much did you read for FET? Ma'am, for FET, one and half month. One and a half month. See, you're stretching twenty five days to one and a half month, and only in one and a half months you've got rank seven. So yes, of course, uh, you're a very intelligent student. Not no, many will be able to achieve this, you know. Just twenty-five days, twenty-five days, and one and a half months of preparation and such good ranks, qualifying in INI, SSET, forty-two and seven ranks in all the exam. So a lot of congratulations to you. I'm especially very proud Thank of you, Dr. Nisha. Ma'am, I am only an average student. I want to tell you this. <laughs> Look, <laughs> so your ranks only... say otherwise. Your ranks don't tell us that you are an average student, and plus the time you have given for your preparation. You have to start believing in yourself more now. You are very intelligent. Yeah. Okay. So, how was the preparation yeah. in the last one and a half months? What all did you read? Ma'am, I have only read your notes. I have made my notes during NEET SS exam. Okay. So, uh huh. I have only made notes one time notes during NEET SS exam. So, I read my notes. I revised by your video, and uh, no big books. I have read nothing. No yes. big books. This is an important lesson for all the students that the FET exam was very standard exam. It was from all the guidelines and textbooks and yes. everything. But still, if you just stick to the class notes, you get good rank because I have covered almost everything. So if yes, you have not read Spiroff or Berek and Hacker in your PG times, it is not the time to open it. Even if you have read it, it is the time to close those books and start concentrating on what is given in the class notes, isn't it? Yeah, I have not read any big book. any any so this this book. this message uh, should be loud and clear to all the students that big books are hobbies they are good if you have a lot of time if you are not targeting an entrance exam then sit and read all the books but if yes. you are targeting an entrance exam this is now when you have to start following the class notes yes ma'am for fet i have read only your notes your videos and rt guidelines only these two so how was the understanding so is it that if you do only class notes and class videos you miss on the clinical part or would you do you believe that the clinical content is also sufficient that it will help you in your practice no ma'am it is very much sufficient actually uh, it it also clear my old doubts which i have had prior to this matlab in clinical practice also some point i have doubt and then i listen to your videos and then those doubt also cleared of mine so i think these are self sufficient so much sufficient for pre pg exams what happens is you don't get so many clinical questions you get more theoretical simple questions but when it is a post ms or post md exam you get clinically oriented questions where yes. you have to be a good clinician and a good academician to be able to answer yes. not just read you have to understand the concepts so it's not that if you read class notes or if you memorize them you will not understand the clinical concept the basis of classes is first understand the concepts and then it becomes easy for you to memorize Is it yes. Dr. Nisha? Wonderful, yes, Dr. Nisha. Uh, each day I keep meeting such you know intelligent students like you, and it uh, I get overwhelmed. It is I feel so proud of all of you. You know uh, the world has got so many uh, warriors, so many such intelligent warriors that we have. So I'm very proud of you, Nisha. That uh, you know you wanted to do something. You But all the half months, and you have got such a good rank. So very proud of you. But ma'am, uh, in one and half month, I left my job, and I just, only prepared just, just so one and a half months. No, people have left their jobs for four five months to prepare. Yes. Still, one and a half months can be when you have never read before. You have not, or you have not given so much time before. You have not spent one year in preparing. Then, in the last one month, you can, 
you know oh, you ma'am prepare. you had never yes. you had not given it one year like for the students who are preparing for the next exam oh, i would suggest ki don't leave your job now abhi kaam karte hi padhai kar sakte hain for yes. the next but if you decide one month before the exam or two months before the exam then decide karna pad sakta hai that whether you want to continue or whether you want to read wonderful yes. uh, dr nisha so any advice any tip to the students who are preparing for the next exam ma'am uh, according to me uh, there should be focus you have to yes. decide that you have to this do this common this is common students yes. have to make a note the determination focus is very important you have to uh, you know believe this yourself that you want to do it you have yes, to make ma'am. yourself believe and right. ji ma'am and then ma'am revision, revision. Re- as ma- then revise i have little time so i revise around 2 to 3 time 2 to 3 time. and uh, ma'am then not very tough exam i think so yes yes if uh, you know, it's if you have read the whole class notes then it is not a very difficult exam yes ma'am so uh, these only and no need to read book, big books because i yes. have never read and yes. books so yes, this ma'am. year it was a good fet paper it was a good paper it was not a very simple paper it was a standard paper but still most of the toppers who i spoke with have said that they have never read, never read the books it is only the class notes that they were following yes That's ma'am simple. so very crisp and important tips you have to stay focused and you have to close your big books and you have to revise a lot of times you have to revise the notes wonderful yes, dr yes. nisha it was so nice talking with you and finally you could give me time for the interview thank you for that we will <laughs> same thank you so much ma'am we will stay in touch yes ma'am actually i need your advice